Hello! I'm so excited to be back. I know it's been a long time. Sorry, guys. But I just got back from Japan and I have so many fun things to show you. Um, this trip was my third trip to Japan in my life. I studied abroad in high school. I went last year with my friend Kay. And then this year, my friend Ty won the lottery to get the privilege to buy tickets to see Malice Meiser live for their 25th anniversary show. And Malice Meiser was so important to me in high school, so obviously I had to go. Um, so this trip I really focused on buying clothes and eating, of course, mostly food. Um, but I went a little crazy. While I was over there in Japan, I discovered this brand of clothes called Oz Croce and Oz on Nest, and there's a few different um, like sub Oz's, but Oz, it's OZZ, is the main clothing brand, and I am obsessed with it. Like, I didn't know that my style was branded anywhere in this world, but Japan has done it, which is basically like wearable RPG character, wearable Ren Faire. Everything blew my freaking mind. So the pieces from Oz are usually very expensive, new, they're a hundred to two hundred dollars. Um, and I couldn't afford that, but there's this amazing secondhand shop uh, for Japanese alternative fashion all over Japan called Closet Child, and they have an entire Oz section. And they sell things in the Oz section for the equivalent of about $8 to $40. So it's so much more doable, totally amazing, and I went ham bananas. And I'm so lucky that Ty let me use their second suitcase on the way home because otherwise I would not have been able to bring all this stuff back because I'm not even kidding. This isn't a doll, this is one bag. This is two bags. This is how many clothes we're gonna get through in this video, so it's gonna be a long one. Settle in, grab a glass of wine, and uh, let me show you what I went ham bananas on in Japan. And I'm not even gonna do any rhyme or reason here, I'm just gonna reach in and we're gonna go. Before I begin, another interesting thing about Japan is that they don't really let you try on clothes that often because they're very neurotic and take care of their clothes very intensely. So they don't want people getting makeup or deodorant on the clothes in dressing rooms. I totally understand. But for someone like me, who's five foot ten, has a little bit of extra meat on her bones, and since most clothes in Japan are one size fits all, uh, it was very difficult. Luckily, over the years, I've completely perfected holding something up to me in the mirror and seeing how it will look on me um, to the best of my abilities to see if it'll fit around my rib cage or my hips, which are like the biggest issues. So there were a lot of awesome pieces that definitely would not have fit me. Like I would do this thing where I'd like kind of put my arm halfway in to see if it fit and it wouldn't work and I'd be like, oh damn it. Um, but I still did good. And one of the really cool things about Oz is that they uh, have lace ups in a lot of their clothing. So you, it's pretty adjustable. So it's very friendly to, even though it's one size fits all, it, it really does fit a lot of people because they have a lot of stretch and adjustability in a lot of the clothing. So the first piece that I will show you. This is Oz Angelo. It is a skirt and you know, it's a simple black skirt but it has all this cool ruffling at the bottom. Um, it's like sewed in over itself um, and has just all these awesome ruffles. I thought this would be a great piece for layering um, and it's just it's just really lovely and it fits me because it has such good elastic at the top. I really like that. I mean I, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I can never have too many black skirts. It's like an illness. <laughs> um, uh, another thing that Oz actually did for me is it made me really start to consider uh, wearing color. Um, the colors that they use are the kind of colors that I totally would wear anyway. Um, but I think that, you know, my wardrobe might expand a little bit. Like, of course, I'm still dark and goth as usual, but... Um, they do color really well and it makes me want to try. So army green has always been a color I loved and the way that this garment is built was just too good to pass up despite the fact I don't have a lot of army green things. I like the way the army green looks with cream so I'll probably do some cream and army green outfits. So it's this weird like dress vest thing. It has a vest over the top of it um, and then there's these laces on the side that are just so beautiful 
and then it's just incredible embroidery on the back of it and that's another really amazing detail on Oz is they have um, everything has so much care put into it uh, all of the buttons are beautiful all of the lace is beautiful um, all, it has all of this embroidery on it that is just absolutely gorgeous and it's just it's just so much better made than a lot of American garments and and just has character and personality and and beauty in it that I don't find a lot of places which I think is why I connected so intensely with this brand and in my lifetime as someone who's really into secondhand clothing and um, not participating in fast fashion if I can help it um, etc etc it, it, it's uh, it's I've never been a brand tour ever I've never been into brands at all but I am a loyalist for life like I would die for this brand I would die for it. This one I actually wore out to a Visual K bar in Japan, in Tokyo, after I got it and got a ton of compliments on it. Still smells kind of like cigarette smoke because of all the rockers chain smoking their cigarettes. Um, but it's just, it's a simple cardigan, but the reason I really like it is because it has like a waterfall waist. And as someone who's pear-shaped, that looks really flattering on me when it pulls in at my small waist and then flares out at the hips. And then it has this really cute tie um, that you can tie in the back. So it has this little ruffle. It's really good for layering, but it has, you know, nice long sleeves, so it's a good fall piece. This is not Oz, uh, but I think it was $4 or something at Closet Child. It's by some brand called Putu Mayo? <laughs> Japanese brand names, you guys, they are very out of control. But I love shrugs, because uh, I'm kind of self-conscious of my arms, um, so I wear a lot of things, layers over them, and also, it has bell sleeves, and bell sleeves are my kryptonite, so I am so excited about this. I love the buckling, detailing across the front on the chest, look really cool. Great layering piece, which I live for. This is from um, the other Japanese brand that I'm a hardcore loyalist for. And I actually bought this new at their shop. Um, I barely bought any new clothes over in Japan because I was really on a, on a budget. I'm just a budget shopper in general. I don't like spending full price on anything. And I really like supporting secondhand clothing. Uh, but I saw this and I had to have it. It was at the Drug Honey Shop in Harajuku and it is a detachable hood. Uh, so it's just a hood on its own, but it has these really cool buckles in the front and it has a huge hood and I have a huge head so a lot of hoods look really stupid on me, but I love hoods. So when I can find one that's big like this, makes me look like a rogue, very into it. Very excited for it to cool down here in Los Angeles for all of like two weeks so that I can wear that. <laughs> Drug Honey is super famous for doing prints. Um, really cool, kind of like esoteric prints. And sadly, a lot of their clothes don't fit me, so I couldn't buy a lot of the things that I wanted and I was kind of heartbroken, but I'm definitely keeping a lookout on Yahoo Classifieds and uh, Closet Child Online and all of the Japanese secondhand websites in case I can find some of the prints that will fit me, because that would be great. Aha, back to Oz. Now, Brown and I have a love-hate relationship. I'm learning to love it. I hated it for a really long time. I don't know why. Uh, but I'm learning to love it, I think, just as I continue my progression deeper and deeper into being a hardcore garden witch. Uh, Brown and I are starting to get along better. And this thing is just so beautiful. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's a dress. I'm going to wear it as a vest because uh, it's probably going to not even cover my ass as a dress. My dogs are squeaking toys in the background. <laughs> Can you not? Mommy's trying to make content. Don't you want mommy to be YouTube famous? Oh, you're bringing it for me? Thank you. She brought me her nunchuck. Okay, anyway, <laughs> now that the squeakening is not upon us, Killed it. It's dead now. Good job. Good job. Anyway, this thing. It is a dress vest thing. It has a halter top. It has a zipper down the front. This is versatile. It has these beautiful layers um, right here at the bottom. 
And then look at the embroidery with the flowers. And then in the back, it laces up like a corset. It's just so lovely. This is one of my favorite pieces that I got. It is another thing that's a dress, but I'm totally gonna wear it as a layer piece or a vest. It's a very similar style to the last one, but oh my God, look at this thing. Holy crap, I love the color so much. And I love this lace-up detailing on the sides here. Oh, it's so cool. I love this one. It has this lace down the front by the zipper and then the little pleating underneath. I just love this thing. I wish I was short enough to wear it as a dress, but it will definitely not work as a dress on me. Oh, look who decided to join us. The squeaker herself. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, your breath is terrible. What have you been eating? Oh, I bet she's been eating chicken poop. Oh, gee. Why do we allow these dumpster animals into our home? <laughs> Just kidding, love her. Uh, this was one of the first Oz pieces that I found, which really solidified my love of the brand for me. It's just a simple vest, but it's got some cool draping, and then it has all this like awesome lace-up in the back, and then just really interesting layers, which I'm a sucker for. Anything irregular, and it has these kind of like tears at the bottom. Oh god, I just love it very much, and it was definitely this sort of discovery where I found a couple of pieces from the brand and I was like wait there's a lot of this and I love it all and then I just went crazy and it, we even stopped we even made a stop that we weren't going to make in Osaka so that I could go hit up the closet child there and Ty is so nice and totally puts up with my antics and I got my first piece of Alice Awe while I was there so it was totally worth the side trip from Kyoto so they add a lot of traditional Japanese elements to a lot of their clothing which I love and this has some of that. This is a underbust with just this like beautiful detailing on it. There's the lace at the bottom, just the insane embroidery, the clasps that are Japanese style. Just so beautiful. This is uh, actually a traditional Japanese kimono jacket. Um, that I got while I was in Nara and thought it would be a very beautiful layering piece. The lady was really excited about the fact that I was gonna wear it for fashion because I went to this like beautiful kimono shop. Isn't it cool? It's really cool in Japan, a lot of the young people are starting to incorporate kimonos and yukata into everyday clothing and I'm really inspired by that because when I was in high school, I studied abroad in Japan, so I spent a lot of time wearing yukata that my host mother made me, and traditional Japanese garb is really close to me and my heart, and um, I really want to, to learn how to do traditional Japanese dancing so I can dance with the obon uh, and wear more yukata. I really want like a goth yukata, so I've been on the lookout for one of those. Um, slowly but surely I will find one. I might just have one made. Um, but I really love the way that Japanese youth are incorporating yukata and kimono into fashion because it's really like a beautiful homage to their culture and it also looks so cool so I, I've been inspired by that like crazy I saw so many people in Harajuku rocking styles like that so I was really excited to find that beautiful kimono overcoat this piece of course I love this one this is also very similar to the other ones where it's a halter top, it's got the lacing and the, the pleating at the bottom, but it's black, so obviously I had to have this one more than anything. It's very similar to the gray one. It has the lacing in the front, uh, the double lacing, the zipper. The zipper has a uh, really cool cross symbol on it, so that's awesome. And then it, there's, it laces up in the back too, so this will be a really awesome layering piece because I can totally get it on me with it zipped because of the lacing in the back but it will be too short, but I can wear it over long skirts and stuff. Oh, this one too. Very, again, very similar to all the other short dresses that I got, but this one has the most insane detailing. It's this beautiful dark blue, but look at the embroidery on this. Isn't that just absolutely phenomenal? And it has this like lovely full lace skirt. I love this one. This one is definitely like very like Final Fantasy character. I'm 
going to the dungeon in style. Oh, this is just a cute shirt that I got at a secondhand shop for $5. Just like a cute wrap shirt, nothing special, but you know, you can always use things like this. I love this thing and sadly my arms are a little bit too chubby for it but the good news is that my weight fluctuates like crazy so hopefully I will lose enough weight um, that it doesn't look as tight on me but it is this incredible gray overcoat cardigan thing with laces up the back look at these sleeves and then these just adorable little buttons that are all fuzzy and it has this beautiful um, tan lace detailing. I just am so obsessed with this piece. I gasped audibly when I found it. And if there's any motivator to lose weight, it is to fit into clothes I got from Japan. So I'm a simple woman. Not really. <laughs> I'm pretending. This is a shirt. This is one of those like amazing shirts. They make so many cool shirts, but a lot of their shirts are super thick. And I love thick sweaters and huge layers that's so my aesthetic and so my shit but I live in California I live in Los Angeles it is so hot here like 10 months out of the year it does get cold for probably about a month so I'm really banking on that like I get to I gotta get the use out of this sweater uh, in that one month it is it looks simple at first but then there's all these beautiful little details there's all this tie this uh, subtle embroidery the sleeves are really cool, have like fishnet at the ends. It's just, it's just so interesting. It's such an interesting piece and I'm excited to wear it when I, it gets cold enough. More brown. It's like I don't even know who I am anymore. This is another Oz piece. I just really loved this. I thought this would be a really good piece for Ren Faire because it has all these ruffles um, and all this really cool stitching. Isn't that just like so beautiful? And I love any sort of shrugs like that because like I said, I love layering. And these, I had no idea what they were. They're like two, I'm not even kidding, $2. I've since figured out that they are leg warmers. Um, and they do actually fit my, my chubby legs, which is cool. Uh, they're very steampunky, kind of military. I don't know, I think they're really badass though. I'll find some way to wear these. This jacket is so funny to me because it reminds me of Kingdom Hearts so hard. And, and, and uh, Oz does collaborations with anime and video games a lot and I'm wondering if this was a collaboration with Kingdom Hearts or something. Because look, look, it's so Kingdom Hearts, it's ridiculous. I love it, it has a hood. It's so cool, like I'm gonna wear the crap out of it this winter but it's so Kingdom Hearts. This is the last piece from bag one. We're getting there. This is funny. Um, first of all, it's brown again. But I had pretty much exhausted all of the closet childs and then Ty and I were in Akihabara going to a maid cafe because what else do you do in Akihabara? And we were at this second hand store called Mode and they just happened to have an Oz piece and Ty grabbed it and was like, it's your brand! And it was my brand. So it's this cute little mini dress, which again, I'm gonna use for layering, but I love the ruffles. It's very Lolita, which I love Lolita, but I have a really hard time finding any Lolita that fits me. But I love this. I love the embroidery on it. I love the lace in the back and then the ruffly little bottom. So I'm gonna do some sort of maybe wood elf lolita cord or something with this because it has some green detailing very very cute this is i'm not even gonna lie probably almost 100 percent for sure my favorite piece that i got i wore it out the other night and i got a thousand compliments on it so it's an underbust and i love underbusts just in general but the detailing on this thing is bonkers they're are these straps on the side that I just love. It's very weird and bondagey. And then look at the front, there's crosses and a crescent moon, and then these beautiful crosses on the buttons. Oh gosh, and then when I wore it, I don't have boobs at all, 
but this is just the perfect the perfect underbust makes me look like I have cleavage. I was like, wow, bless up, Oz. So this is just like an incredible piece. I will cherish it and love it forever. This is another corset I got kind of in the similar style. And they're great because they're fully lined. They're beautiful, they have all this extra detailing. And then it laces up in the back with this really cool, these really cool grommets. I have admittedly no idea what this is. <laughs> I don't even know if it's Oz. This is either Oz or Cutie Fresh. Cutie Fresh does a lot of um, very like Japanese and Chinese inspired stuff, which is why I think it might be Cutie Fresh because it has this Chinese dragon on it. No! Please stop. Good protect. No attack. Anyhow, I don't know what this is. I'm gonna use it as a skirt. It has buttons all along it and some weird laces. Oh, there's a tag. I found the tag. It is Oz. Yay, okay. It's Oz Crosset. Um, but I'm gonna use it as like a layered skirt. It's very cool and strange. I could totally use it as a poncho too or some sort of scarf apparatus. I don't know. You know, it's just, uh, it's, it's limitless. It's limitless in its capabilities. This thing is so beautiful. I have never seen so much detailing on a piece of clothing. So this is shirt, like a shirt thing. It has this irregular hem. It has these beautiful bell sleeves. But look at the detailing on this. It has this, the laces in the back, but, but look at this. It is just the layers upon layers of, of things for your eyes to be drawn to. Laces and lace and appliques. I just absolutely love this thing. So that, that's probably my second favorite piece that I got in Japan. Oh, but I forgot about this vest. This vest is also up there for me. It's pinstriped, which I usually don't like because it's a little bit too masculine for me. For the most part, I tend to keep, like I'll definitely wear masculine things, but I make them very femme because I'm high femme to the extreme. But this is just such a cool vest, I couldn't resist it. So it's halter style, it's pinstripe, and they have these, the, the ruffles at the bottom, it's it has an irregular hem, so it's asymmetrical, it has lace up in the back. Again, it's just, as with all other pieces of Oz, there's just so many details, and the more you look at it, the more details you see. And it's just mind blowing, it's so beautiful. You know, I would die if there was a company in America that made clothes like this because it's so hard to get Oz in America because very few people know about it here. You know, Lolita's easy to acquire because it's become so popular in the States, but something like Oz, I have to use Japanese buyers for Yahoo Classifieds or something, or just go back to Japan. Oh no, how terrible. <laughs> this thing, it was funny, Ty did not like this when I got it, but I love it because the colors are so beautiful. It's a poncho, or I could use as a skirt, and it's got all these dusty blues and whatnot. Anyhow, it's like so beautiful and it has all of these beautiful layers and the lace has that sort of heavy vintage feeling to it, which I just love it. It kind of looks like I just got a bunch of vintage lace, stitched it all together and dyed it. But it's brand. This piece is so cool. I almost didn't get it because again, it's so hard to get like heavy clothing in LA, um, but I, I I went back for it the next day. I didn't get it and then I went back for it the next day because I couldn't stop thinking about it. Um, long sleeves, lace at the bottom, lace in the back. So good for layering, so beautiful. I just, I couldn't say no to it. This thing is so weird. I couldn't leave this thing alone. It is not Oz. It is a brand called Graham. I have never heard of this brand and I did not see it again. Uh, it's a poncho. It's amazing. I love it very much. It's so cool. It has a hood. I'm always a sucker for hoods. But the weirdest thing about it is my dog's drumlining in the background. I'm, I apologize for the noise. The weirdest thing about it is there's just randomly a glove sewed onto it. And I think you're meant to like wrap it around your neck. So yeah, so poncho and then glove scarf. I don't know why, but it's great. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's so it's so weird. It's a conversation piece. It's very avant-garde. I love avant-garde clothing. This is the story of a girl. It's a it's a multi-layered dress sweater thing. It has black sleeves underneath, but like lots of lace and cool layers. I don't know. Thought it'd be another good wintertime thing. I'm saving the best for last, so this is the second from last. These are amazingly sandals that fit me. They were extra large style. So in Japan, they don't size shoes with numbers. They size shoes small, medium, large, or extra large. And it's really hard to find extra large. I wear size 9 American, which really isn't that big. Um, but a large in Japan is about 7 or 8. So extra larges are not kept very many places because very few people have shoes sizes as big as me there and I felt terrible for my poor friend Ty who was there with me because they were a size 11 and there was no way they were finding shoes uh, but I, I managed to find a pair of shoes that fit me and there are these really cute platform sandals I got them in Harajuku and my favorite part about them is that on the buckle it snaps closed so you don't have to unbuckle it every time. So I thought that was really great. I wore them around once. They're a little bit tight, but they're totally manageable. I think I just need to punch more holes in the buckle ups. Now, I don't mean to be dramatic, but I'm gonna be dramatic because that's what I do best. This is the most incredible piece of clothing I probably own in my entire closet. And I have enough clothes to fill two rooms and I do fill two rooms. I have a closet and an extra bedroom full of clothes. But I've never laid eyes upon a piece of clothing and just been so desperate for it before. And it's one of those brands where I've known the brand for years. I've loved and admired their stuff. I have half of it pinned to Pinterest, but I never actually looked at or seen if it was in my price point, which it is not new at all. It is this brand called Alice Awe. It is a deconstructed Gothic Japanese fashion. Uh, Visual K bands, Miyavi, everybody's worn it. Um, on average, a piece is three to five to eight hundred dollars, depending on the complexity of it. Even used, you can't find anything online for less than about two hundred dollars. And I was at Closet Child in Osaka, and I found this piece, and it was about eighty-five dollars USD. And I really went back and forth because that's way more than I usually spend on something. But I had been Lolita shopping for my friend Claire and had racked up the points on my closet child cards. So I had a discount and I was able to get this for about $60 USD, uh, which is way better. And this sweater new was probably about $400. Um, I'm sorry, there's just always gonna be dogs in the backgrounds of my videos. Just gotta accept that. I have to accept that, we all do. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world and my dogs are eating my videos. Anyway, uh, so this thing is just mind-blowing. It has two layers. It has these really long scrunchy sleeves that I can either roll up or wear over my hands. And then this like linen under layer and it's ragged and deconstructed. It has this asymmetrical hem. It's just, and I feel like a ring wraith when I wear it, which is basically everything I've wanted to be. And I love it so very much. And I will love and cherish this piece of clothing until the day that I die. And I'm so glad that I took the plunge and bought it, even though it was more expensive than I usually spend on clothes, but I don't care because it's true designer and I own it and I feel like I've leveled up as a goth. Thank you so much for watching my Japanese clothing haul! Yay! That's all the clothes that I got in Japan. I wish there could be more. It's probably good that I don't live there because I would just shop every single day and be broke forever. Um, but I miss Japan already. I miss its fashion. I miss everything about it. I miss the food. And I have a giant pile of clothes to put away now. It is kind of massive. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. If you enjoyed watching this, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see more haul videos because I do go thrifting at least once a week and find lots of cool things in America, but not as amazing as Oz anyway. Have you heard of Oz? Is there a Japanese clothing brand that you like? Because I'd really like to know. I really like to see what people are into, especially with J fashion. Um, love you guys so much. You are the absolute best. 
I appreciate you sitting through this whole haul with me to see the creme de la creme of my Alice Awe jacket, and I will see you next time.